Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope oh, my sound is picking up right now. Got a new mic, testing it out. Hope you guys are having a great week. Doing another video for you guys. Not an update, but something that I've been that's been on my mind as well as something that I recently like <clears throat> was thinking about because I read some of the emails no that was forwarded to me by myself maybe in 2007 when I quit my first job I was reading it over it basically reminded me of why I was quitting and and what my thinking was so on the email it was a bunch of list of all my friends that I cc'd I didn't cc but I blind cc'd um they, I had their all their emails basically our replies and everything and I had my brothers because he was working in the same company as me so in the emails we were talking a lot about business and business opportunities and like plans on like very detailed I mean these were I <laughs> shouldn't have been doing this in uh, while working but it was usually around noon that we sent out these emails and around and around I think 4 or 5 p.m. just before you left home from work so these emails detail things like oh um setting up the server right now i got <laughs> i got my ein number for my new business and things like this like setting up basically setting up your new business like and other business opportunities like real estate we we're talking about real estate there we we're talking about income properties rental income properties and yeah a lot of ideas and looking back on the emails i was just like wow guys just stick to one thing and do that because we were just going on like one week was this and another week was this it was yeah no wonder you didn't get any results and we had a nine to five on top of that so i guess this is kind of um this gives me another perspective on if i had to do it again basically i would tell myself stick to one thing you probably succeed in any of it and do what you actually enjoy doing because we're doing stuff we weren't really enjoying like there was some emails where we were talking about going to MLM conferences after our on weekends and on um, after work with some of our co-workers and they were CC'd on the emails as well They're like yeah well, I'm going there and let's grab some some eat quick and chick-fil-a then we were headed down there it's this 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 place this meet up here before we go in yeah there's a lot of um things me my brother and i and i personally didn't really like we went to a couple of mlms and i really didn't enjoy them but yeah i don't know why we kept on uh like trying to pursue that idea we didn't make any money from it we were like going to those meetings and yeah it's very strange and then if you just do a quick analysis of what was working our own websites were working we we're making sales and some we we're doing affiliate marketing as well as adsense so all of that those things and basically a whole like the whole sales funnel and we even start dabbling in email marketing as well so if you're beginning yeah stick to one thing like there's a lot of ways to make money online you have to know yourself again this goes to the previous video like what your strength is and also joey yaps's video like he talks about profiling as well and if you're a gamer just watch his latest video you you understand it clearer like in mmos and video games it's usually a tank a sniper a glass canyon a minion and a general yeah so he goes into all the details on how each one 
each role is in basically business and life yeah so if you know yourself very well you can know what your strength is and you could basically pick pick a business or a business opportunity that you want to pursue that will cater to your strengths and basically is more in line with what you like doing okay even though in the beginning you want to try everything yeah you have to know yourself first this save, will save you a lot of time okay for example I just gave you if you don't like going to MLMs and meeting a lot of people and having to network with them and just trying to you know recruit people yeah don't do MLM even though you see people making a lot and telling you they make a lot of money don't do that yeah and if on the opposite end if you don't like creating uh, content on your website you do affiliate marketing or put up uh, do something um, that doesn't require you to create much but is then is able to uh, provide value for other people that and you could uh, get an exchange of money for that okay and then this also relates to uh, business um, business mindset that is uh, don't be attached get too attached to method a lot of times people are too attached to the product and the method of business and they don't look at the results and what the trends are telling them okay um, sometimes you have to be flexible you could get the same results but you could be flexible in the method that you and mindset that you approach it with okay and I would like to think about this as like a also like a video game like when we were younger we play a lot of video games and in the beginning when you start a new game you're very worried about especially if you're playing rank matches you're very worried about your rankings and oh like Starcraft oh if I lose my a ranking uh, test the first few games you're gonna be put into a low rank yeah, don't worry about that. Like, if you enjoy the game that you play, and, the, and you play like, I don't know, after a couple hundred games, you're gonna keep improving and your rank will naturally increase. So what I'm trying to say is be detached from the outcome in the beginning, but when you reflect and see the results, adjust and then yeah adjust according to the results you're getting okay and the last bit of the information is again goes from the beginning of video is focus focus on one thing at a time in business is very important that you do this because if you don't you get easily distracted and when you do that you do nothing very well okay we knew the power of this right after we quit our jobs because we we're able to really get things like prioritize and get things that we really wanted done like we didn't do 20 things a day when we quit our jobs we just did one thing every day that we thought we needed to do like when we quit our job we were doing heavily affiliate marketing and AdSense when our AdSense income was like uh, starting to dip and our affiliate marketing income was increasing we were able to just even though our AdSense income sites we built it by scratch and we hired a lot of programmers on strip last we didn't hire them in house yet but yeah, we took a lot of time to actually create something that like that and we were really yeah really proud of it but the trend was yeah not gonna make that much all I and the cost per click was going down I remember and creating content was 
it was a hassle for us. So we decided to go 80% into affiliate marketing and then from there we just kept building on and on and on. Okay? So those are my little tips that I got that I want to share with you guys after reading some of the emails that I forwarded to myself back in 2007. Okay? Maybe in the next video I'll share some of the stuff I was telling myself or telling my other brother and my co-workers about okay but if you find that video helpful like and subscribe thank you